So Chuck Davison, CEO of SlowCal, thanks so much for taking the time out to chat to us today. Yeah, such a pleasure to be with you. Thanks for having me. And for those of us out there that might not know much about your region, uh, can you tell us a, a little bit about this, uh, what looks to be like a little slice of heaven? Yeah, so San Luis Obispo County, or SloCal as we refer to it, is um, right right on the Pacific Ocean. It's halfway between Los Angeles and San Francisco. So if you were to look at a map, uh, three, and a hour, three and a half hours north of LA, three and a half hours south of San Francisco, right on the coast. Uh, so if you think about kind of moving south to north, you, you have Los Angeles, you have Santa Barbara, you have San Luis Obispo. Monterey and then San Francisco. And uh, so it's just a great um, quintessential California beach community. We've got uh, 85 miles of uh, accessible oceanfront um, right on the Pacific Ocean. You see some of the beautiful pictures right behind me. That's Morro Rock, uh, which um, is easily identifiable in, in our region, along with our amazing uh, Pismo State Beach and Oceano Beach, where you can actually drive a car on the beach um, and enjoy a bonfire at sunset. And so we've got those amazing um, experiences in that, that coastline. But then the, the county goes actually 40 miles inland. So we've got some amazing wine regions uh, up in the north. Um, that really make the destination just, you know, very different from what you think of when you think of California today and some of the big cities. So I can imagine there's a lot of di different wine tours available to anyone traveling over. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, you know, we're the third largest wine region in the state of California and the number one uh, wine region for sustainability. There's 250 wineries in the county. Um, in the north, you have definitely more of the red, the, uh, the Cabernets and the deep red blends, where at night it gets down to, um, you know, maybe uh, one, two degrees Celsius. And in the day, Gosh, it can get all the way up to um, you know 30, 40. It gets it gets really warm up there, and so that contraction of the grapes really helps them swell and and be filled with a lot of fruit flavor. Um, and then down in the south in Edna Valley, um, that region is really known more for its whites and its pinots. Um, and its proximity to the coast is only about eight miles, and so you get those evening coastal breezes that move through there, uh, and that really helps with the, um, you know the grapes that are grown down there for the Chardonnays and the Pinots. Brilliant. And so when it comes to accommodation, you seem to have a, a lot more, I suppose, smaller kind of hotel brands as, as opposed to these kind of larger chains. Again, giving you a bit more of an authentic feel for the area. It's interesting on the hotel side, we, we are definitely a boutique hotel uh, community. We do not have many flags or, or chains um, in our destination. And I think that's one of the things that also makes it special is, uh, you know, the, the people who are running those hotels actually live in our communities. And so it's a part of them. It's a part of, uh, you know, what they're growing up in their own family business. And so we've had some amazing hotels that have come online, uh, two really beautiful boutique hotels in downtown San Luis Obispo which is the, the central part of the county, uh, about four story boutique properties with about 100 rooms each. And they've both got rooftop bars and, and one has a rooftop pool. And those overlook uh, the mountains of, of San Luis Obispo and, and the green hills that we have there. And so uh, some really great experiences. Um, and there's a whole range, you know, there, there are really small beachfront properties, um, you know, of 20 or 30 rooms all the way up to, uh, there's an amazing property up in Paso Robles called the Allegretto, which is like a Tuscan village uh, in and of itself. And they have uh, their own olive press uh, that takes place there. They produce their own olive oil. They have their own vineyard where they're producing their own wine. Uh, but, but that property uh, is, is four star and, and very luxurious. Uh, and we just opened a new um, Marriott signature property. So it's not branded as a Marriott, but uh, it's called the Vespera at Pismo Beach, right at the Pismo Beach Pier, uh, close to the picture behind me of that car on the beach. Um, and it's an amazing uh, oceanfront resort uh, that has everything that you could want. Uh, and so that's, you know, we, we've got a little bit of something for everybody, depending on how you like to travel. Brilliant. And, and for the agents that are out there watching this, is there any good kind of information portals that you'd recommend for us to read up further on the destination? 
Yeah, one, the, the best way to get knowledgeable about the destination is our website, which is slocal.com, S-L-O-C-A-L.com. Uh, but there's also a trade uh, path on that website. If you scroll down to the very bottom, there's a trade button there. Um, and that gives you a, a bunch of great information as well and an opportunity to reach out to us get more to get more educated. And then down into the experiences. And so we've got some really incredible experiences like zip lining above vineyards out in the Santa Margarita Ranch or riding the Clydesdales uh, on the oceanfront in Cambria. We're really excited about that technology and the ability to use it in helping get people trained for the destination. Yeah, I had a quick look at the website uh, earlier on in the week and it was, it was very impressive. I'm fortunate, I, I've got the greatest job in the world. And so this is what I get to do is go around and tell people about a place that I love to call home. You know, the Irish are such an important part of our destination. We've missed you guys. So, you know, we're, we're trying to figure out how we get you back and, and how we see your smiling faces and, and uh, hear your great voices in our destination. And so, you know, anything that we can do to help um, get them the information they need or help train them, that's what we're here for. That's brilliant. Thanks so much, Chuck, for taking the time out to chat to us today. Cheers.